Hello everyone, my name is Daniel Kreuzer and in this video I'm going to show you how to create um, this fire effect. Uh, so to create this video we have to use the smoke simulator in Blender 2.5 and in the finished scene you can see um, that here is a wind force field and here the flow object and here the domain. Um, so for this simulation I used 265 with, um, resolution and no high resolution. Um, so the cache of this simulation um, is something about 22 gigabyte of data. Um, so um, yeah, let's start now. To so start a new blend file and scale the default cube by pressing S um, by 2 and then scale it along the Y axis by pressing S and then Y. So um, along the Y axis scale it by 2. Um, so this is going to be our domain object so set it um, set the type of it to domain here in the physics panel and then press um, 3 um, to get to the side view and then press Control alt 0 to fix the camera at the side view. Um, you can zoom in by selecting the camera and then press G and middle mouse click. So um, now add a plane, move it here, scale it a bit down and add a particle system. Set the amount to 100,000 and the lifetime to 1. So if we press Alt A now, we can see that there are some particles. Um, so this is our flow object, so um, set the type of the smoke to flow and activate internal velocity. Okay, now select the domain again and set the division um, to 64. Press again Alt A to see now the smoke. So because the resolution is um, only 64, um, there's um, so many smoke. That means that uh, when we finished our settings, uh, you can turn this one to 256, uh, 65, sorry, and then um, you can see the same effect like in this scene. So now add a force field, wind, move it um, to here and rotate it along the x-axis by pressing R and then X. <coughs> um, now set the strength to 7.1 and press again Alt A to see the simulation. Um, okay, now um, select the flow object again and set the normal value here to 0 0.2. Press again Alt A. And we can see now that the smoke uh, moves in this direction. Um, suppose the lamp now um, to here. And I think. Um, we should change the normal value to 0.1. Okay, I think that value is better. And now select. Um, now we're going to set up the material for the domain. So add a new material. Um, set the type to volume here. Set the density to zero. 
the density scale to 4, scattering to 4, and the emission to 1. Now set the step size to 0 0.1 and then here in the texture panel set the type of the, of the texture to voxel data. If there is no texture you can um, click here on new and then here voxel data. So um, select cube as your domain object because the domain is named cute. Uh, select density and save your work. Um, now press Alt A to simulate. Oh, Alt A to simulate. Um, the smoke. Now you can go to the third frame and now hit render by pressing F12. So you can see now that at first we're going to change the background color to black here in the uh, world settings. Then we can see here this white uh, um, Halos. You can turn this off by selecting the flow object, going to the particle system, and set um, this to none and here to point. That means that you can see the points, but uh, you cannot see the particles in the final render, and you cannot see the emitter. Um, now render it again um, and now we're going to set the we're going to add a second texture for this for the smoke so um, select the domain here click on this second place and add a new texture again voxel data Select cube again as the main object and here select the emission. Set the emission to uh, 1.5, the intensity to 5 and now um, add a color ramp and um, Add here some colors and try to get this result. Um, now press again F12. So we can see now there's some fire now in this scene. Um, but I forgot to set the type um, to multiply. Okay, and now press again Alt A and wait until we have um, so I think that's enough. Render this is again. So um. Now we can see that it do not dissolve. So uh, select the domain again and activate dissolve and set the time to 25. This one second. Uh, render it again. Ah, I forgot. Um, we have to bake the simulation again. To clear the cache, um, just select the domain and move it by pressing G and then escape to leave it at the same place. Um, then press again Alt A or you can just um, 
Click on Bake All Dynamics. Uh, okay, I think this is enough now. So, okay. Okay, render this frame again. Okay, we can see now that here the smoke start to dissolve. Um, okay, just wait. So now, um, so render it again. Okay, um, now set the resolution of the smoke to 100 and bake again all dynamics. Here. But, uh, at first you have to free all bakes, and then bake all dynamics. <laughs> 